Hey guys, this is the mom dishcloth um, graph and it's 35 by 35 and I will be giving you the complete pattern for free in the comments. And I have made my pattern white and black current, which is also called what I call purple. It's a lot easier to say purple than black current. And I am going to go by the written pattern because my graph didn't print out very well. And what you need to do first is chain 36 chains in whatever color you are going to do as your border right here. Mine is going to be purple. So go ahead and make your chain of 36 and put your um, the video on pause and then come back and when you get done doing that what you're going to do is you're going to start single crocheting in the second chain from the hook. Now you do not count this first chain, you know, the cha what's on the hook, sorry. You do not count the first chain. You're going to go into the second and you are going to single crochet into that. And then you are going to continue to put one single crochet all the way across until you have 35 single crochet. And then I will meet you back. Okay, so I am at the end of row one and there's 35 stitches across. When you get to the end of every row, you always chain one and you turn your work always okay so now row two says purple or black current or whatever color that you're using the same color single crochet 35 so even though you chained one you are going to go into this first single crochet here if you turn it up to the side you can look at these V's and you can find your first crochet right there. That's the one that you want to go into. So you want to make sure that even though you chained one, you go into that first one or you won't have the right amount of stitches when you get to the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do my single crochet, my row two of 35 and then I'll be back. Okay, now here we are on the 35th stitch of this row right here, and we have to change colors for the next row, so let me show you how to change colors. What you do is you go into this last stitch just like you normally would, but we do not finish this stitch off. See, we have two on our hook here, and you're going to pull, whoops. This splits so easy. You're going to pull this yarn to the front, okay, and hold it with your right thumb if you're right handed. You're going to grab your yarn that's going to be your other color and you're going to place it on top of your hook and leave yourself a long enough tail to work in here. You're going to put it on your hook and instead of finishing off, this color right here, you're going to bring this color through and finish it off with this color. If I can get it to go through there. Well, like I said, this I am not good with working with cotton. Let me try it again. Put it over your hook and finish that stitch with your new color. Okay. And now what you're going to do is you're going to do your chain one. Well, do your chain one and you're going to turn your work. Okay. Now row three says white. Let me get me some um, yarn here. My bobbin doesn't want to cooperate. White single crochet 35. So you find that first stitch and you go into it 
and you crochet like normal and it says single crochet 35 so there's one and two and I'm gonna do a couple and then I want to show it to you a minute three four now where we changed colors here see we still have our complete rows just like we're supposed to this is our tail that we will weave in later this is our purple we're not going to need it anymore so what we can do is we can just go ahead and cut that off and cut it off long enough to where you can weave it in so that it won't, I need sharper scissors too, so that it won't unravel. So now I've got two tails here that I will weave in later, and I'm just going to leave them for now. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my 35 single crochet for row three all the way across, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are at the end of row three. And we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now row four through 13 is exactly the same as row three. It's the same color. It's white single crochet 35. So I'm going to go ahead and complete row four through 13. And that's when all of our color changes with the word mom are going to start is row 14 so that's when we are going to be on the camera constantly and I'm going to go real slow and show you how to do all of the color changes so go ahead and do row 4 through 13 exactly like you did row 3 white single crochet 35 and I will meet you back then I just thought I would check in so that my camera doesn't cut off on me. I am up to row 10, so when I get to row 14, I will be back. Have you ran out of yarn on your bobbin yet and need to know how to replace it? You do it just like you're going to change colors like you did before. You go in with your single crochet, and instead of finishing off this stitch, you are going, let's see, we are on... Well, I am on the wrong side of my work, so that's where I want my tail to be because I put all of my tails on the wrong side so I can weave them in. So you're going to take your new bobbin and you're going to put it on. And if you want to, you can, I'll show you this way, you can put your yarn on top here since it's the same color and you can just crochet right over it and then you won't have to weave that in later and this is your new bobbin and you just finish that stitch off with the new bobbin it went a little crazy there so let me tighten it up and then you put both of your tails on top and you're just going to work right over those so you just make your next single crochet and after I make that single crochet, I'm just going to pull on those little tails and tighten them up just a little bit. And then you just continue on with your next stitch. So I am going to go ahead and finish. And again, I will be back when I get to row 14. Okay, we have made it to the fun stuff. We are on the wrong side of our work, and that's where we really want to be when we start our color changes, our major color changes. Um, we're on row 14, and I have went ahead and chained one and turned my work, and it says white single crochet two. So we're going to go in that first one. We're going to single crochet two, one, and two. Now we're not going to finish the number two white. What we're going to do is we're going to pull that white to the front, and I like to hold that down with my whoops with my thumb. 
Okay, now it says purple single crochet two. So I'm going to get my purple bobbin. And we need two purple. So I'm going to leave enough tail so that I can weave that in. And I'm going to put my purple on my hook. And I'm going to finish this off, this stitch of white with my purple. I'm just going to pull it through and finish this single crochet. I'm going to hold this like I'm holding this white with my thumb just to hold it tight. This is my working yarn and I'm just going to do my two single crochet now with my purple. So there's one. Oops, there's a hair. There's one. You might have to pull your little tail and tighten that up a little bit. There's one. Now it called for two. We're not going to finish this second one off. We're going to leave it on the hook like we did before. We're going to pull this purple to the front. We're going to hold it with our thumb. And now it says that we need two white. So we need another new bobbin. So let me get another new bobbin. And we need two white. So here's our new bobbin. And we're going to finish this stitch off right here with our white. We're going to hold that tail with our thumb. And we're going to single crochet two white. There's one. Now we're not going to finish this second one because we're going to have to change colors again. We're going to pull that to the front and hold it. And now it says we need two purple. So we need what? Another new bobbin. Let me get my bobbins in order here. Need another new bobbin. So here's a new bobbin. And we need, let me mark these off so I don't get messed up. We had two white, two purple. Two white, now we're doing two purple. It's a lot of color changes on this row. So we're gonna put it on there. And we're gonna finish off this white. We're gonna hold that with our thumb. We're gonna go in and we're gonna do our two purple. There's one. Again, if it gets a little loose, just tighten it up. It's no big deal. And here's two. Don't finish off this second one. Keep it on there. And pull it to the front. Now it says we need two white. So what do we need? Another new bobbin. So here's a new bobbin. Nope, that's not a new bobbin. That one's already used. I may have to stop and make more bobbins. So here's a new bobbin. And we need two whites. So we're going to finish this off. We're going to do two single crochet of white. And there's one and two. Whoops. And two. Now don't finish this one off. Pull it to the front. Let me mark this off so I don't lose my place. Now we need two purple. So let me get a purple. It's another new bobbin. And we're going to pull through here. Leave a long enough tail. And I hold my tail with my thumb to keep it tight. And then we do our two single crochet of purple. There's one and two. 
we don't finish that off, we pull it to the front and work that off. And I am going to need some more bobbins. So I'm going to put you on pause. Let me see how many bobbins we need. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need eight white bobbins. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven purple. So you need eight white and seven purple. And I will be right back. Okay. Now, please do not be freaking out because we have so many color changes. I promise after this first row of color changes, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, so now it says white single crochet three. So now we get another new bobbin and we are going to single crochet three. So here's one. Whoops. I hate how this cotton splits. I'm not used to crocheting with cotton. There's two and three, and you don't finish off number three. You pull it to the front. Okay, and then it says purple single crochet five. So you get a new purple bobbin, and you are going to single crochet five. So you finish off this white stitch. Now, because we have five stitches, you can lay this purple on top and you can crochet over it to lock it in so that you don't have to weave in so much later. So we are going to single crochet five. So there's one. I'm just going to pull it a little snug. And there's two. Just keep that tail on top and crochet over it. Three, four. Now you don't want to do your tail on the number five. You want to just let it come down to the front now. And this is the fifth stitch. And you don't finish off that fifth. You want to pull it to the front. Now I'm going to mark off on my pattern so I don't lose my place. Now it says white single crochet three, so we've got to get another new bobbin. So now we have the white, and we're going to single crochet three. So we finish that. There's one. Two and three. We don't finish that last one off. We pull it to the front. And now it says purple single crochet two. So we need another new bobbin. And we put the purple on there. And we're going to finish that white off with purple. And we're going to single crochet two. There's one and two, and don't finish that off. We're going to pull it to the front, and then we have, let me mark off my spot, we have white single crochet two, so we get another new bobbin. And we finish that purple off. There's one and two, and we don't finish that. We pull it to the front, and my camera is fixing to go off, so I will finish row 14 in the next video.